The Bretzel, great stretch for runners, incorporates many different things all in one stretch, so really pay attention here. If you have a roller, it really helps with the stretch. So Jack is gonna lie on his side, bring his top leg up and rest it on the roller. We wanna to get to a point where your hip is flexed at about 90 degrees. Jack's gonna reach back and grab his foot or shin with his palm facing up. This hand is gonna hold the top leg on the roller. Jack's gonna to try to bring the back of his hand and that foot down to the ground, and he's gonna to try to rotate his shoulders onto his back. Here's some of the key points here. Right now, we're getting a little bit of stretch to the outside of this hip. Jack's most likely feeling a good amount of stretch into the quad in front of that hip, and he's also getting some rotation in through his spine. It's a little bit of a complicated position after you get there. Just work on some nice relaxed breathing. Try to hold the position for about a minute or so. Um, don't pull too hard. We want to be able to relax in this one. Figure four stretch. This stretch is aimed at targeting the rotating and glute muscles deep in the hip. Jack's already in the start position, so we're going to focus this on the left side. So he has his left shin rested on top of his knee. He's going to reach forward and grab behind his knee with both hands. Just hold right there. So as he's pulling on his right knee, he's getting a stretch into the deep left hip here. You don't want to pull so much that your butt comes way up into the sky like so. So he's going to hold it there and he's going to try to maintain a neutral lumbar spine where we can get our hand underneath it and through here so he's not rolling into that super flexed position. IT band stretch. Uh, we're going to show you here standing and we're going to use our arms to make the stretch a little more effective. So Jack's going to stretch his right IT band for the example here. He's going to cross his left leg over his right, make sure that his pelvis stays pointed straight ahead, chest and face as well. He's going to take his arms over his head. Now what he's going to do is let the pelvis shift over to the right, bend that front knee for me, and then he's going to side bend left towards me and we're looking to open up the side of his trunk and side of his hip and those are all the fascial and muscular connections into the IT band which goes all the way down to the outside of his knee. As always, do both sides. For the calf stretch, what you're going to need to do is find a pole, a wall, a piece of furniture, something to put your hands on. Jack's going to stretch his right calf first so his left leg is out in front. The key here is to make sure both feet are straight ahead. Kick your heel out towards me a little more. Perfect. Now Jack has a nice arch in through here. Those of you who have a flatter foot, you want to make sure you activate the muscles inside your arch to maintain some, some arch. As you get into the stretch, the foot's going to want to flatten. You want to prevent that from happening. Jack knee, Jack's knee is nice and straight. As he leans forward, he's getting a stretch into the calf muscle through here. Now to focus on the soleus muscle, which is the muscle deeper, he's going to bring his foot forward a tiny bit, keep the heel out towards me a little bit. Perfect, same thing, maintaining an arch here. Now he's gonna bend both knees slightly. Both of these, the heel stays on the floor the whole time. Now that stretch is a little bit deeper and lower into the soleus muscle. Hamstring stretch. I'm gonna show you two basic ways to do it here. There's many different forms of this exercise, like many. This is just a safe and effective way to do it. So I'm gonna show you two different versions, one with a straight knee, one with a bent knee. For the straight knee hamstring stretch, you're gonna need a strap, whether it's a dog leash, a belt, a towel, or a stretch strap like this. So Jack's knee is gonna stay straight. He's gonna use his hands, pull on the strap, and bring his leg up. Jack is extremely tight. He is a runner. He's also a growing 16-year-old boy, so there's lots of tension back through here. He's gonna hold it there to an intensity that's slightly uncomfortable, but not too uncomfortable. Okay, so that's the straight leg version. Drop the belt. So now Jack's gonna grab behind his knee with both hands. His leg is gonna stay bent. The job of his hands is to keep his thigh here. He's going to point his toes towards his nose and slowly straighten the knee up until he feels some stretch behind the thigh or behind the knee. Feel that there. So now we're still getting an elongation of the muscles through here, but now we have a bent knee. For certain people, that can just free up some tension on the sciatic nerve. 